Named after the observatory in Australia which first spotted it, the comet Siding Spring has come from the far reaches of our solar system. For more than a million years it's been travelling towards the sun, slowly warming and slowly developing a tail full of gas and dust. It's travelling at a speed of 56 kilometres a second and will swing by Mars just 132,000 kilometres from the planet. At the time of the close encounter with Mars, the comet will be almost the closest to the Sun. When they do that, they uh, release a lot of material, dust, uh, solid particles and gases, uh, water and uh, uh, hydrogen, and all these uh, particles, all these ejecta, are going to uh, interact with the atmosphere of Mars and that will be the interesting thing. That interaction will be recorded by no fewer than five spacecraft, three orbiters including one from India and two NASA rovers on the planet's surface have all been prepared for the comet. It's going to look at shape and rotation and the, the brightness of the nucleus, or really the, the darkness of the nucleus. It's going to study the coma composition. Uh, it's also going to look at the atmosphere of Mars to see if it can detect any changes uh, from the interaction between comet and, and Mars. These spacecraft are trying to understand how external forces affect the Martian atmosphere. Billions of years ago, it was thick and supported water, but those gases are believed to have been eroded by solar winds, energy from the sun, leaving just a thin coat of carbon dioxide. The interaction with the comet could shed light on how this occurred. It could also pose a threat to the spacecraft. Well, the dust from the comet may be a hazard to our spacecraft. We've studied and modeled it extensively. And we now know, believe, that when Mars gets very close to the dust tail, which is about 100 minutes after closest approach, all our spacecraft will be on the opposite side of the planet. Scientists believe the gas and dust from the comet could cause auroras in the Martian atmosphere. They say their spacecraft will be in a unique position to record this, along with the exact motion of the comet. It's information they say will help us better prepare for the next close encounter. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.